momentary troubles there. UMD. Okay, it was UMD. Yeah. Yeah, it was UMD. That's I University of Maryland uh, College Park. Which, how does, how, can you explain to me, how does a D represent I have no a idea. I, I looked. I looked them up, I looked them up, and it says UMD is University of Maryland College Park. Actually, maybe I'll, I'll do a little bit of reading. Um, UMD, <laughs> or simply Maryland. Um, University of Maryland. I have no I idea. I guess maybe Maryland. Maryland. Yeah. MD? Yeah, because it starts with an M and uh, ends with a D. That's, that's the best guess I got. Uh, but they are going up against Illinois, the Illini Esports. Illini, Illini. Lycan first fan, I haven't actually seen that in a little while. And Nick's first fan, I haven't seen that uh, commonly. Quite a Pugna, I feel like it's a very... Um, that, that's gotta be something that they don't like playing against. Uh, Pugna is not really a popular hero right now. But definitely play him. See who I do love, that Tusk as a roamer. We've heard me gush about Tusk before. I can't play him. This isn't even like a my favorite hero type thing. I am never play him. Terrible at playing him. Uh, but man, he is exciting to watch sometimes. Sometimes. Arguably the best roamer currently. Uh, and then, like, look at these four picks. Can like, the, the, the six bans and the four picks, immediate. Zero <gasps> reserve time wasted. These guys came in here with a plan, and this is what I love to see. Yeah. I, that'd be even neat. Oh, God. That'd be... <laughs> I wonder to see how much uh, non-reserve time, even standard time, has been unused here. Yeah, yeah, they're, they're going at a lightning pace. It's like as if they don't have reserve time, you know, like the lightning draft when you have, uh, they really give you zero reserve time. That's like what I feel like I'm seeing right now. Ten seconds remaining. Reserve time is lava. <laughs> Five seconds don't remaining. touch the reserve time. Um, uh oh, uh oh, Illini. No, oh, they, touched they it. broke the streak. <laughs> Uh, banning out Faceless Void, that is going to be one of the consistent uh, position ones I think that we've seen. If Even yeah. if he doesn't do great, he's still got a lot of utility, although you don't you want him to do great. I think it was in our game yeah. that we cast on Tuesday, is that correct? We had a, a Void that yep, we did. just wasn't able to do sure enough did. inside of his Chronos. The sniper kept sneaky oh, sniping but, him out. But, or did they win that game? But they won that game. He they came did, back yeah. in the late game. And he started laying like four men in the Chronos and they started winning. Oh, that's right. Of course, yes. OD also very good with the core, um, with faces void because you want a ranged damage dealer that can do a lot of damage, and OD is very good for that. And Io uh, pairs incredibly well with OD, giving him some tankiness and also attack speed. You know, what more and mana and health. What what more can all be won? You know. Yep. With what's um what's been picked so far is PL still looks like a pretty viable option here, right? PL looks good. Yeah. He just for has both to be teams. careful he doesn't get uh, eclipse bombed. Yeah, yeah. PL can still be a pick for both teams. Well, of course, if PL gets picked by Illinois right now, um, Gyro is going to be picked like almost immediately afterwards. I think. Yeah, those are Gyro. those are kind of the two most consistent position ones that we're seeing right now. Yeah, and Gyro of course has those flat cannons to be able to uh, clear out a lot of illusions to help you find the uh, right one. And of course, you know he has the uh, ulti too, which can clear things out. I'm Illinois. surprised that Gyro has gone on pick slash bans uh, this far. Life Stealer is also, I think, one of the best carries right now, which we do see banned right now. Yeah, and we still do see a consistent amount of Juggernaut. He's just, as we've talked about, he's stable. Uh, vanilla ice cream. Vanilla ice cream. I I was gonna say, uh, I think I said it with Carlton. He's a uh, he's a plain white bagel untoasted with unsalted butter on it. It'll it'll get you where you need to be. It'll be a breakfast. It's just not gonna be. Radiant it's not too exciting. Dire team pick. All right, the Beastie Master. And coming here into the picks, Yakiro picked up for Illini. And they'll be going into getting their mids and safes here for Illini. Yeah, and just UMD. push heroes against push hero. Both teams need post teams. At least you want one hero that can push well. Jakiro, obviously, support that can do it. And Beastmaster and offlaner who can uh, wreck remain. towers if you let him do it. Yep, Elena still has the option of the Death Prophet, Radiant who's been a back. heavy Tinker. pickup. They're gonna go for the Stinker. All right. Okay, Tinker. Um, obviously, he's hit with some very heavy nerfs recently. Um, with good reason. 
um, but uh, in the right situations, he is still fantastic. Of course, this game, he is going to have to go against a Beastmaster Dang, Hawk and IO Orb, so he won't be like as um, hard to catch Dang, it within the trees. Me. Beastmaster can give him actually quite a bit of a hard time as long as you have vision on him. Um, but Tinker does match up very well against OD in lane. Of course, OD's last hitting and damage really all comes from right clicks and being blinded really, really hurts you when you do that. Uh, so UMD is going to get last pick. Illini, do you think they, if they, so this is a tough position for Illini to be in, right? If they ban the gyro, then that really opens up the UMD uh, pick for the PL. Or if they, well, I guess they could just, no matter what, grab the gyro themselves uh, here, right? PL isn't, yeah, PL isn't amazing right now for Maryland, though. Thanks to Tinker. Thanks to and even Tinker Jakiro. and Jakiro. Jakiro is really good against um, PL. All the surprisingly illusion, illusion good against clear. PL. Yeah. He's got a illusion lot of ways clear, to do it. And movement speed slow and attack speed slow. Like, it's, and it lingers for a while. Like, you can use a double ganger to get it all. Uh, I just, I typically like. Oh, yeah, yeah, for, I think Illini might have an, a better time about it, of getting themselves that PL, but, uh, yeah, there still are many other things in the pool. Luna, Luna pretty common, not a common pick, but someone that we have seen, um, was even in the Rutgers vs. Lehigh game, I believe. And now Illini taking their last ban out here. There's still plenty of options available for the position Five one. Um, they've got an IO on UMD, so I think maybe they oh, might want to consider banning the Life Stealer, unless they plan to pick it themselves. Because um, Life Stealer being able to infest bomb with an IO relocate, someone else, so three people coming in, obviously exceptionally powerful, uh, especially an IO Beastmaster relocate in so that you can get the roar. At that point, I think there are very few people that will be able to stand up to that kind of an onslaught. Five seconds remaining. But Illini, they banned out the Anti-Mage instead. They're going to be picking up their last pick here. I think um, it's going to be pretty tough. He does, I think Lifestealer would be great for Illini here. Obviously, he's got the Rage yeah, fighting into OD. Banned, oh, that's right. Yeah, it was banned. Excuse me. It is going to be the PL pick. They're going to get the PL, and now UMD I... is going to grab that gyro, I think. Most likely, I think. Um, they could go for the Juggernaut here. Yeah, Battle Fury well. Jug. Yeah, because um, Gyrocopter, you might want some magic resistance in this match, right? Remaining. Against the Tinker, Jakiro, Tusk. And uh, yeah, five seconds yeah, so magic and if you resistance get, might be nice if you get caught in a uh, in an ice shards, you can also then just throw your Sven, Sven, okay, Sven. all right, it's gonna be the Sven, and he's also durable, so he might be able to survive through Doom for a little bit. Um, Sven can also do a good job against Tinker if uh, they ever spot him, you can blink on top of him and then kill him. So yeah, no, Sven seems like a pretty decent pick. Um, he might struggle a lot getting kited this match though, so um, it's going to be all up to his supports to be able to back him up and form an early BKB this match. Yeah, BKB is going to be super important here because if, if Tinker is near the fight, then that's the easiest blind target yeah. ever, especially if you're fighting with your PL. OD, you might want to blind because he can blow people up, but yeah. PL... Um, or excuse me, but Sven will be able to clear out the PL Illusion Army quite yeah. quickly. Um, of course, we might be seeing a... Wow, Tinker's level 3 already. I matched her, spamming the Tinker. Um, but of course, the eggs, which might get picked up this game, had was the last thing that was nerfed on Tinker, I believe, which... Prepare uh, yeah, well, that was the bounce range, I believe, for the... Blind that was reduced on the eggs uh, for the lasers. So, all right, both teams coming out of their base right now. This is a league game, so one thing we like to do is introduce you to the players. It is going to be Miss playing our IO. Meanwhile, Trubs will be on the Beastmaster Witch Doctor, played by MZS. Sven will be played by Inferno. And finally, OD here in the mid is gonna be Slurm. This is the UMD side. And over 
on Illinois, we have the Jakiro being played by Mr. Feed. Hopefully, he doesn't live up to his name. We got Eid Master playing that Tinker. We got plus 25 playing the Doom. We got a uh, Yuko who's getting chased down in the top, SPL, and finally Dead playing the Tusk. Hopefully, he does not live up to his name either. <laughs> yeah, hopefully, uh, they live up to Doom's name. <laughs> Plus 25, of course, you know, won't get it here, but you might get scholarship, so I think that's more worth it. Yes. Plus 25 scholarship yeah. rating. <laughs> right, they're gonna try and contest here on the bottom of the room. They're up, Yuko's up. He gets there, the Io's still gonna be able to get the bounty room, taking quite a lot of damage, though. Here come the shards, and that'll be first blood claimed by Illini. First blood, that our great combat begin. Yeah, I think that's, uh, that's, um... That's probably worth it. That's probably a much better. Even though they lost, uh, they only got one bounty in here for Illini. Um, I think they're happy with uh, taking that first blow. Of course, they get the experience from that as well. But those like initial bounty runes worth a lot of money. Now worth 200 gold total, 40 gold per hero. Yeah, but XP. That's something you won't be getting from a bounty rune anymore. Yep, very true. No. Interesting that he set the IO in the top here. IO might be struggling here. He can find a lot of damage. He's still tethered up to Trubs, so being able to keep him off. And actually, Trubs doing a ton of damage here, just barreling down deep with no fear whatsoever. Remember, those uh, those axes are going to stack, so if he gets another one onto dead, oh, one more shot will do it. But I don't know if he's going to be able to get him. He is pretty quick. Trump's chasing him down. The, the ice shards behind him. Meanwhile, Doom getting taken down in the bot lane. All by his lonesome. And VS is going... Uh, that must have been good coconut bounces. We didn't catch it. Doesn't have any Maledict yet. Oh. Man, it's, I, now I see why they set Io up here. Io has just gone to straight bottle, no other items, and it's just basically giving Beastmaster infinite mana. And Wild Axe is, uh, is on a ridiculously low cooldown, and when you can spam that spell on that hero, which is a strength hero, you usually not get the luxury to do that. When you can do that, um, yeah, that, that, that ability is pretty insane. Yeah, you gotta remember, it's like the new Shadow Rays, where the more, more hits you hit with it, the more damage it does. Yeah, and but it also amplifies all your other damage, including your auto attacks, damage from your uh, Necronomicon creeps, or your just normal uh, Call of the Wild creeps as well. That too, that too. And yeah, the the, the tether with Miss or MZS here, or sorry, Miss, uh, is just he's just face rolling this lane. It has no worries whatsoever. Look at he's taking out all these trees. Nothing is gonna surprise him. <laughs> Very true. Now and they're not going to chasing down to Yuko. Yeah, he doesn't have a doppelganger, by the way. But they don't have CC to kind of keep him around without the boar. Oh, they're going to turn around on a miss. Mr. Feet is here. He gets the dual breath onto him. Yuko's going to be charging in. Now, with another set of liquid fire, they're going to pop that bubble and get Shrubs out of their lane. This is very costly for them. It's going to lock these supports here into the top to help out Yuko. That's great value. Yeah. That is what tri lanes does, but uh, as long as they can keep in, uh, kills out of tri lane, I think uh, they do come out ahead here. But of course, you know. Meanwhile, if Doom keeps on dying in the bot lane as well, um, Maryland are going to be much happier with that trade. And certainly, Sven is having a much better time in his lane. 15, 16 last hit, 15 versus Yuko seven. Yeah, most definitely. Yeah, so they gotta make this lane worth it by Yuko picking up kills. So far, they've been doing a good job of it. Yuko currently has two kills right now. And surprisingly, in the mid lane, um, yeah, OD having no problem with this Tinker at all currently. They're neck and neck when it comes to CS. Oh, no. And the off lane is obviously Beastmaster with his uh, support here having a much better time yeah. than Doom. Of course, Doom can catch up a little bit with that Devour, which gives him some bonus gold. We'll see what build he goes for here, because I've seen Doom like level either of the three spells first. Sometimes we'll like max, usually you see Max Scorcher first, but sometimes I've seen Infernal Blades and Devour being max first, depending on how, uh, what kind of lane you're in or how greedy you are. And then of course, Trubs and Miss coming in to block this pull. This pull still is successful in that the creeps died, but he gets every bit of XP and a little bit of extra from the creeps too. 
from the jungle, the neutrals. Yeah. Yeah, always important to contest those pulls. MZS. I would like to see this try lane a little bit do more here. I think, yeah, this IO and Beastmaster is getting way too much done. We have action in the mid. MZS is positioned up. Here we go. The Maledict right into the cast. Cast bouncing around. Is it going to come back to Master? No, he's not going to get. He's not going to get hit again. He's going to be able to get a march down. Get himself to safety. A lot of that Maledict damage was avoided from the Astral as well. Yeah, I don't know about the Astral usage. I think they just you just keep on attacking someone who has. Uh... Who's under Maledict, right? And then you just do massive amount of damage. Of course, you know, there was that laser that blinded the OD, but that doesn't mean the Witch Doctor could right click either. Witch Doctor has a pretty decent right click of his own. Yeah, it's a tough call. I think I can get behind being safe there, because they also did have the march down and didn't want to get too much damage. It looks like it's going to be an initiation onto Doom now. They've got the Maledict onto him. He's got the Centaur stop. He's going to buy himself the space, and Jirno is going to be here. And actually, just one more shot from MZS with a Maledict tick will do it. Yeah, MGS doing a great job roaming around here, threatening Tinker's life, and then immediately getting a kill on the bottom. And also, that forced out a kill rotation, by the way, onto the mid to protect the Tinker. And meanwhile, you know, um, Witch Doctor went to another lane and got killed. Jakiro still stuck in this mid lane, not doing anything. While in the top lane, TL is getting pushed out of his lane by the Beastmaster. Beastmaster now uh, ahead of the PL in uh, last hits. Oh boy, and probably doing a bit better on XP as well. Trubs, is he almost level up? Yeah. No, he's just barely the top lane is going Yeah, they're going down HG onto zone. dead. Trubs, he's got another set of axes in a few seconds. No, but they're going to get forced out by Mr. Feed. Oh, I also love the fact that, you know, Beast, uh, Trubs is going for the uh, inner base. Oh, hold on. Uh, 25 is chasing down MZS. MZS going to throw some Maledict onto him. And the Coconut, but it's just to escape, so he's going to be fine for now. He being back to base, he's going to be down. Inferno getting those last sets. Looks like uh, Doom is going to go for this Infernal Blade Max. We'll see if he is happy with just two points, but... Um, this, this is a skill that really, really scales well uh, with skill points as well. Yeah, he's put a third point into it, so he's going to the Infernal Blade Max build here, which, you know, you Max Scorch Earth first if you want to be tanky, you Max Infernal Blade first if you want to do damaging, if you want to get Devour if you want to farm. So, looks like we're going to be going for first damage build. Top lane. Miss getting chased down once again. Dead gets him inside of the inside of the shards. Chasing him down a couple more shots. Dead might be able to get him. He needs another one. He's going deep for it. He's going to get it. Dead making his way out. Taking a lot of damage from the creeps, though. Will survive with 50 HP. On the other end of that lane, it was Beastmaster chasing down Jakiro. And Beastmaster was able to kill a Jakiro and TP out before PL was able to finish him off. Beautiful. Was Peel around for the... And Peel wasn't around for the Wisp kill either, so... No. Peel was trying to protect his uh, poor little Jakiro from getting run down. So that was just a solo kill, uh, at least when it comes to get XP and gold for the Tusk. Which isn't terrible to have experience on. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Tusk is uh, pretty low right now. He had to walk... He walked all the way to base. TP still on cooldown. We'll be off in 15 seconds. Uh, he gets uh, Tranquil Boots, he can just easily walk out of base right now with that just move speed. Or he can uh, get TP out uh, as well, 7 seconds left on that cooldown. Trubs and Miss, let's see what they can do. Gonna try and continue to fight up on the Phantom Lancer, Trubs getting healed up. Now they're just pushing him out of his lane once again. In the bot lane, they're going aggressive on MZS. MZS taking quite a lot of damage, he throws the coconut but won't be able to make it out. Meanwhile, in the top, they go and get down that... Phantom Lancer. Smart money. I should have kept you on the uh, top lane, actually. Final Lancer kill probably a little bit more important. I could have caught both if I was being a little faster with it. Should have, would have, could have. Top tower. But Sun here in the top. mid, um, let's see here. How are thing? How how's this laning phase shaking up? Kind of more of the same. Actually, it looks like OD pulled ahead in the mid. Uh, clearly, Sven is having a better time than than Yuko. Yeah, I mean, PL has even died right now against that Beastmaster IO combo. Yeah, I just... Sven, here they go, going aggressively onto Phantom Lancer. They just got the kill. Trubs is not level six. He's gonna use the Doppel Walk and try and get away now. And Fierno getting chased out underneath the tower. He does have his ultimate going. He's just gonna have to TP out. Mr. Feed has no way to stop this, and he makes it away. 
Not the initiation that they wanted, but don't lose anything out of it. Yeah. Aside from some space and time. They would have loved that kill there. Yuko, however, doing uh, not bad in the farm department right now. Actually, 200 gold ahead of this man. Even with the amount of pressure being put onto him, he is managing to stay uh, in line with the CS 43 to 47 in first in this man. So he's going to be able to stay on, on par with items, of course. You know, you don't want to be falling behind this PL against a Sven. That just sounds like a nightmare. Oh no, Miss getting chased down and found. He's going to be able to tether out of here, but the move speed's slow and the ice path will be more than enough. Yuko picks himself up another bubble burst. Yeah, this is this is uh, how Yuko's been uh, able to keep staying in the game. Is uh, Hayo, very, very fragile hero. As long as Jakiro gets dual breath on them, I feel like that results in a kill every single time. Yeah, he'll be real easy to chase down at that point. Yeah, with that Phantom Rush as well. It's all about Miss trying to stay away from those uh, dual breaths. And... Both mids basically non-existent in the mid at this time. And have been for quite a while. Both of them just farming elsewhere. High Master going to be doing that spam in the jungle while Slurm is just picking up a camp or two at a time. Mr. Golgi, at, uh, at this time, what is going to be the... It looks like both of these teams are going to be spending some time probably farming up and not necessarily pushing. They can push with the Sven. Uh, there's a couple people that they have to push with. OD right now. Getting the shakes down. Deep. He is deep, deep, deep. Going to try and keep you out of here. A couple more shots is all they need, and he makes it out! Not going to go down. They were able to get a kill on Doom in the bottom. In the meantime, and here they go. They're gonna be able to use their god strength, push this tower if they want, or even hold it. We've got plenty of people here. Uh, Beastmaster, of course, these days takes a little longer to get his animal farm up, so he won't be as early of a pusher as he used to be. Now all the TP's coming in. Here we go. Warcry getting used, trying to get him out of here. They've got some people coming in. Phantom Lance coming in, and Inferno is caught inside the shards. Inferno, are they going to be able to get him out of here? He's caught in a bad position right now. Here comes the Ice Path. They've got him. Sven is a great kill to pick up right now. And Illinois is going to do it. Now, Illinois, they are in a position with their Jakiro to be able to put probably a lot more damage into this tower and a lot quicker than UMD was able to do. It is only level 1 liquid fire. Uh, obviously, that dual breath is super important for that top lane that they have. So I got you now, Golgi. Do not. Nice, but uh, fortification gonna get used here by UMD to try to delay this up as much as they can. Meanwhile, they're going for maybe a gank expedition on Tinker. No, they're just gonna push the tier 2 in response. The wave is gonna get pushed, and we have a TP response. Mr. Feed comes in, a smoke is out on the bottom. Where are they gonna take it? They wanna go maybe on to Tinker, but Tinker's TP'd out already. They're gonna catch anyone that they can. Radiance Middle Tower. Unfortunately, not going to connect with anyone right now. Back to the top. Oh, there they go. They're going to be able to find Mr. Feed. Mr. Feed gets roared up. TP in from Doom, but Doom has to be careful. Yes, wisely going to cancel that TP and could be in a position now to try and re push off this tower. They don't have Sven, though. Sven's not really ready to commit his uh, god strength to fight towers. He wants to keep that for fighting people. Uh, so it's going to be a Radiant slow, Mountain protracted Tower's push. For UMD until they get some summons up from Beastmaster. Welcome back, Mr. Golgi. Or maybe not. Alright, both teams uh, looking like they're playing the farming game a bit. Tinker doing Tinker things. He is just going to be pushing out these lanes and being as annoying as possible. And even underneath this tier 2 tower, we can a little bit. Uh, pressure 2, Lucky Girl is going to get around. He 
need a rocket to the base to ultimately get back. MZS is here in the mid, applying some pressure with the creep lane. Oh, he's gonna be careful, sad shards! Oh no, MZS is gonna get walrus punch. Tinker is here, putting as much damage as he can, and that witch doctor is not long, was not long for this world. As soon as he gets caught out by those shards. Once again, Illinois, they're gonna get a pick off and now pressure a tower. Mr. Keith is here, he's got the liquid fire. He's gonna apply it right away. I master coming in. And rockets going to do slurm. Oh, he's not able to dodge it. He used the astro to try and dodge the damage, but instead, he takes it and will be using that astro a little prematurely. Rest of the team still around here. Tinker obviously in other lanes trying to make a space there. Mr. Feet just waiting for the lane to push in so we can get that liquid fire on the towers. And here they go. Yeah, I'm chip back. by chip, little by little. Welcome back, Golgi. Oh, I okay, I, I just because I was so fed up with my internet, I am now on my uh, Wi-Fi hotspot off of my phone. Oh boy. Whatever man, like I I, I can't be disconnected during a playoff game. <laughs> I will, I will pay the price. Rip, the price rip right your data. <laughs> rip my data. Alright, so what did I miss? Uh, seven kills for Illinois. It looks like uh, they're bringing it back in this mid lane here. Uh, mid game, rather. Yep. Wow, Illinois... PL 6.4k network lead. Yeah, Illinois has just got a better um, team comp to apply pressure around the map. Obviously, Tinker is making them go every which way in the other. And the only pushing that Illinois has right now is I with God Strength. Yep, they are going to be coming, wrapping around onto Inferno. Ooh, that scandal. Oh, are they going to find him? Here comes the snowball! No, oh, it's too late! Bringing him back to the base! <laughs> Inferno says sorry! Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> that's, for, so that's for close. the fans right there. You can see how good of a, a, a player that Inferno is. It felt really safe there. He could have TP'd just anywhere, but he took the extra second or so to tuck himself in the trees. And that's really what made sure he got himself out of there. Oh yeah, for sure. For sure. Just, just, just a little bit to the side, then they would have, Tusk would have saw him just a little bit too early. Or even Doom. You can cancel TPs with Doom, by the way. But then he'll stop that TP. But yeah, hiding himself away. Something to keep in mind here. They're gonna the try. Top. Oh, Tinker <clears throat> comes in. Cancel TP. But they are going to be able to find the Doom. A Ice Path cuts off their their position for now. They're going to try and come in, but they have enough here to dissuade them. UMD is going to have to back up. So, unsuccessful gank for UMD once again. Yeah, unsuccessful gank for another unsuccessful gank here. Meanwhile, so mid is will be pressuring mid. Oh, they find MZS. Here we go, they find MZS. MZS caught inside the trees, gets detonated once again. It's so poor, unlucky! Poor Witch they Doctor has been getting found and found. They didn't know he was there. It's that Tinker. He just TP'd into the creeps and then just blinked into the trees and happened to blink right on top of the Witch Doctor. Like that was pure luck. Quite unlucky for him. PL finished off his uh, Diffusal Blade, that's really good timing. Very nice. No, obviously not going for the uh, Battle Fury build anymore. Is, is the Illusion Change just enough to, to pull it off him? Uh, it, I actually seen PL still go for that build once in a while, but before that was a kind of like defective build, now it's like a question. Like, do I want to farm as a PL or do I want to fight as a PL? And that's where it comes out, which I feel like Dota should always go towards, is everything should be about choice. And yeah. player like decision making. Oh, this will be a smoke gank. Oh, smoke gank. They're gonna get the roar on the Tusk. Trying to get the damage in right now, but he's uh Drugs is gonna get caught out by another ice path. Now here comes the snowball, buying themselves a little bit of time. Death work channeling up. Sanity's eclipse goes down, but not a lot. Use Doom is put up onto the OD right now. Miss doing as much as he can to keep Lucky Girl alive. They will TP out with them, and it will be a one-for-one -one trade, and they will be backing up, except for MZS, who is going to be, <laughs> unfortunately, not able to make his way out. This has not been going very well for UMD these last couple fights. I don't know what MZS was doing there at the end. He, I feel like he was looking somewhere else, and he... 
almost miss micro his hero up there because he just walked there, walked by the PL and kept walking forward into the enemy jungle and it, it felt like he was playing with, maybe he's playing with a huge leg, it felt like he was like playing two seconds behind or something. I think he must have thought that, um, or he wasn't paying attention to the relocate and so he didn't yeah. expect that Wisp and Sven were going to be gone so he's going to come and try and fight with his boys and then, oh, they're not there anymore. <laughs> they abandoned him. And that was the first Doom use on the OD. Um, of course, uh, MCS saved the OD, by the way, with a great Death War placement from the high ground. And that meant the OD was able to stay safely in the high ground and uh, was kept Illinois from chasing up the high ground. Um, but And also, he also had the uh, Voodoo Restoration to be able to uh, heal Slurm through that Doom. So, also, good plays from him, just not, uh, not, not the best way to end it all, I suppose. All right, looking for another kill. They could be finding the, their the miss. No, they will miss miss. Coming around to the bottom. Looks like they want to pressure that out again. Tinker, little stinker Tinker, is back in base, chilling out right now. Looks like he's waiting for his Kaya, which is going to get picked up. He'll be TPing out immediately. I think that. Here Kaya we go. is an incredible item for Tinker. Yeah, the, uh, in what you were talking about earlier with the choice for Phantom Lancer. Phantom Lancer does not want to be fighting against a Sven late game, so they want to close this game out sooner than later. Yeah, no, for sure, I agree. Um, he's going for Manta style next. Uh, I'm assuming he's going for the heart thereafter, because uh, you, I think heart is almost mandatory item when you're going against a cleaving hero. Or maybe it doesn't even matter because Sven is so strong. It's true, yeah. The uh, the cleave, it will chip down Probably. those illusions and they're much more tanky. There's going to be a roar onto, <laughs> onto Yuko. Yuko's going to get caught out, found, and down. Full five-man team getting here from UMD and then returning them into a tower push. Without Yuko here, they may be able to fight. They're going to be able to jump forward, find Cusp. The god strength is up. And if they're gonna try and turn it around into a tower kill now, no, they will lose the god strength, but these guys just have the summons available. Let's have some boards available. We may be able to push this. Doom jumps forward. 25 gold traps. Now I Master's gonna come and shoot some rockets in, but they will be able to make their retreat. MZS is just in the trees right now. Doesn't want to get left behind again. He's he's probably had enough by that of that by now. I was about to say that was a wasted God Strength from Inferno because uh, he popped the God Strength before the relocate finished and they came in by the time he came in the uh, PL was already dead but um, thankfully he was able to use that blink dagger to build, find that kill on that tusk and yeah the um, net worth look at, look at the net worth graph it's just constantly going back and forth no one has ever been able to find a real lead here in this game so far i feel like Dyer's it has been hovering around this less than 1k mark for so so much in this game oh they've got a smoke our illinois yeah, smoked up miss. are they gonna find miss Link four there we go dead is gonna find him with the walrus punch he is able to Get his tether out on the Sven, but Sven is going away, leaving him behind. Now they're turning it around. Sven oh is eclipsed, just detonating the team. Doom is used on Sven, but now they're chasing down the rest of the team. They get an astral out onto one. It's going to be Mr. B. Mr. B taken down as well. Four men lost in the pursuit of a wisp. UMD turning it around. This yeah, is the kind of power that they needed. A suicidal snowball right into the arms of Sven. And uh, that's why I was talking about this. This is an amazing game for Doom here because dooming Sven is almost useless if Sven got his ulti off. And that's exactly what happened. They doom Sven, but he doesn't actually care. Like, why does he care? He has God Strength up and he will just chase you down and kill you all. Yeah, the, the Doom is pretty much going to be good on what? OD? OD. Like, cost him, Die. stop him from awesome. casting his orbs. Yeah, you, you could you could use it on Witch Doctor and Wisp be good on them, but do you really want to use a Doom for support? Yeah. If you have if you're having a lot of troubles getting the kills, it might be good to interrupt. I mean, ah, the, as as long as the Voodoo Restoration is cast already, then um, it's not going to stop yeah. it. That's very true as well. Yeah, this is a bad game for uh, Doom. I mean, but that's the price you pay when you uh, first phase pick a Doom, right? And 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 uh, Illinois. 
knew what they were doing when they were the first phase doing and they knew what they were doing. This? This is hanging out with Lucky Girl. Lucky Girl is gonna pop the God Strength, but blinks forward and misses the PL. PL starts chasing down Miss. Now Inferno's gonna have to get out of here on his own. Mr. Feed is coming up behind him. They get the Infernal Strike onto him. Now a little bit of slow. He's gonna pop the BKB just to escape. That'll be the first one, but that won't let him get out of shards, but a Blink Dagger will. Inferno is gonna make his escape, but it will cost him BKB charge. Yeah, I was about to say that the uh, Ice Shards, um, one of the best uh, BKB quote-unquote piercing CCs in the game. But of course, uh, not taking magic damage while on the BKB means he's uh, safe and sound. But yeah, Sven um, just linked on the wrong targets there. PL uh, had his uh, illusions divided into two. One group of illusions was taking the Ancients, the other was chasing down the Wisp, and Sven bedded on the Ancients and uh, Oh, Seeker gets found and down in the top. Under it looks like this time it's going to be UMD You're going Dying to be the one that's hunting him down Need to get the mid tower though Now it will need to go back to defend their own tier 2s Tinker going for a um, very quick Scythe of Vice here I can't disagree with that against that Sven That's overwhelmingly strong Sven yeah, if you can get it on him before he BKBs, you can have a good time. Yeah. Now, of course, you know, uh, he got the... By the way, this, this event, and we are talking about how important the BKB is here in this game, but he got it really early. Oh, spot lane. There's gonna be a roar. Yeah, and here we relocate. go. Relocate in. The roar taking down the Doom. Shard's not gonna connect this time, and even if they did, they don't have a lot behind him. Yuko needs to be careful. They spot Yuko. Trubs already did use that roar, but they've got Slurm here. He's gonna get the Astral. Have a very quick uh, doppel lock. Here it goes. They're gonna drop the Let's clear up the illusion, and the stun comes in. They're taking down Yuko as well. Yuko going in a little too deep, getting spotted and getting rotated on, or just collapsed on. Now a TP in from Tinker. Tinker could be in some trouble. Tinker's gonna make his way back, and Firo is just going hard, hard onto the high ground. He's got that BKB up, and still plenty of time left on it. Won't get caught by the shards. This is gonna back to the tower. They're gonna use the fortify on it. Buy themselves a little bit of time, but I don't think they'll be able to counter initiate here. Yeah, no, this is a free tier two here. Uh, that death on the PL was very costly. Him poking his head out a little bit too much. I, I thought he, I think he thought that there were a lot less UMD players there because there was a relocate play with the Beastmaster. So he thought, oh, it's only three people. But you know, little did he know, OD was right behind him, waiting in the jungle to astral imprison him. And that was just long enough for Inferno to be able to get the cooldown up for his uh, Stormhammer to be able to catch him dead. Yeah, and even just at a glance on your minimap, when you saw the lanes, the lanes are pushed out a lot. You have to assume that there's probably not a lot of people there. They're, they're yeah. busy dealing with the count the Tinker push. Yeah, no, for sure. So what I was talking about is um, Inferno did pick up this BKB early, which is a good thing this game, and it was mandatory for him to do, and he's using it very, uh, he's using it very, very well. But that is going to mean that this BKB is going to go drop down to the five second cooldown very quickly. And of course, the BKB was nerfed in the later um, cooldowns because it's a flat 70 second cooldown now even if it's uh, the 5 second duration. So that's going to be a little sad for him, but now he's working toward a Daedalus. Who doesn't love a Daedalus Sven? It's amazing against the um, Phalanster and amazing against bursting down the Tinker. It's a perfect item for this game. Yeah, he's not super ahead of the PL, but you definitely don't want the Sven to be getting ahead. No. No, PL already struggles with him, and uh, especially if that Sven is going to be able to finish off his uh, Gigantic cleaving items before PL can get something like a heart. PL gonna have a heart uh, problem. Instead, Yuko is gonna go for the Lincolns. That's going to be his defensive item of choice. Yeah, he's he's super concerned idea. about the roars. Roars. Yeah. They've got the, the astral hammer. hammers. But of course, you can always just hammer his illusions. That is true. Oh, they're gonna get the Centaur stomp onto Doom. Doom taking a ton of damage from Slurm. Oh, Slurm gonna boy. use the Hurricane Pike. Plenty of shots oh, going out. Boy. One more shot from the Hurricane Pike. The last one will find the Doom and take him down. Now, MCS takes quite a lot of damage in the back line, but he's gonna be able to escape. He's gonna be alive for now, but they're snowballing in. They're running over. Illinois is coming in. They drop the Sandy's Eclipse and turn it around. Now, Lucky Girl's coming in. No God Strength, or actually, God Strength already used. He's trying to chase down onto Mr. Feed. He'll have a Storm Hammer here in just a moment, but it won't be in time. Mr. Feed will make it back, but they still claim three, only losing 
themselves the witch doctor and it was very close everyone was so low on the umd side yeah the umd uh inferno just jumped in onto the pl while the fight was going elsewhere and completely destroyed him while his tusk was obviously distracted in the front lines being trying to kill the od so that means there was no save for the pl i think it's time because the Tusk has a blink dagger right now. This is a time where I think Tusk starts playing defensively. Stop, stop initiating and just stay in the back line, then blink in to snowball save either the Tinker or the uh, PL whenever they need it. Yeah. Because these uh, cores are dying way too quickly for this event. And when the the big thing that did it, or what did a considerable amount of damage in that fight, is that Slurm got to really prep his uh, his oh, yeah. in, his uh, his orb, his int steal there with yeah, the just sucky sucky on that doom. Yep, as soon as he got the Hurricane Pipe, he started out with probably eight hits uh, with the uh, with the orb. Yep, and then the, the sound of these Eclipse uh, did quite a bit of damage, thanks for that. And yeah, this Doom has been very ineffective this entire game. We have not seen a single Doom that resulted in a kill, I don't believe. Yeah, no pick-off and... Dooms, and then and then even in team fights, it just... Radiant it's not, it's stand. unfortunately, he hasn't had the position sure. available. He's got a Blink Dagger, Top so yeah. Player. Oh, here they I go. Master. They're trying to chase down the Tinker. Tinker's gonna get spotted. Here's the relocate in, and they find him with the roar. Once again, Tinker getting caught out. These guys, they've got some great tools to find him, you gotta remember. Yeah, I, I, I but the, he was just pushing out the wave in the middle of the lane there. You just gotta play careful, man. You gotta drop down the march, uh, and then blink into the trees and start marching from the trees. He was doing just from in the middle of the lane, and he got, uh, uh, oh, he's uh, yeah. miss. This could be in some trouble, but no, he's staying alive for now. Dead is gonna beat him up, but it costs him both the Doom and Dead. Yeah, right now, Maryland, their rotations are superior. They're just playing around all these things a lot better than um, Illinois. They're just constantly making the rotations better. They're at the right place at the right time. Of course, having the Wisp is kind of like being able to cheat on that test. But nonetheless, <laughs> um, right now, the uh, I, I feel like Illinois are constantly getting caught there. They, they have no position to be taking that uh, Wisp in the mid lane, especially after that you're losing that Tinker. Having no reinforcements nearby, and it's not like uh, the Phantom Lancer went for a boost of travel build either, so they had no backup going into that. Yeah, and it, at UMD, anything that Illinois is able to, to claw out, they're just making sure that they get a little bit more or a lot more. Yeah. Well, for sure. Right now, finally, this is a significant net worth lead here. 9k net worth, 10k actually for Maryland. The Daedalus now finished off for Sven, and now he is working towards a... Uh, I mean, you need more crit, right? So he's going to go for a Bloodthorn next. Why the oh, hell not? Oh, baby. Really uh, against Tinker as well. Yeah. Oh, yeah, so that even if he gets blinded, he doesn't have to worry. He doesn't have to super worry about the uh, the blind. As well as PL might eventually go into the Bloodthorn, right? Uh, I don't think we're yeah. going to see that point in the game. Although we could. It could be, you know, it's all about this defense for uh, for Illinois. And that's something that you were pointing out. A defensive tusk. Even the Doom has a blink dagger. So being able to, like, be really selective when you start the fight is possible for him. But it's not what we've seen so far. Yeah. For, I think, for... UMD to start winning fights. Okay, I think they need to start grouping as five. We have not really seen them group as five and trying to roam together uh, since the early game. They had some smokes in the early game, but we, it's been a while yeah. since we've seen that. They have a Doom, which, you know, kind of really wants to initiate. Doom is like much less effective. What lane actually? Oh, we got the roar, yeah, onto the Tinker once again, chasing down. Doom comes in to try and help. Instead, he's gonna be the next target. Maladic, plenty of damage coming out. Slurm stacking up that int already, actually. If Tinker doesn't buy back, even if Tinker buys back, this might be a Rax. Yeah, they already breached the high ground here. And they're gonna be able to hit through the backdoor protection. They get creeps near enough that it doesn't matter. Fortification is gonna be but this will go down pretty quickly. They still got plenty of God Strike left. Gonna start working on those melee barracks. Trubs 
has his necro army as well as his summons now. It's gonna go down extremely quickly. They may even look to rotate to the top. They are. Oh, they're gonna find oh, Tusk no. as well. Tusk, this isn't the place that he wanted to be. Macro Pyre gets laid down, so they're not gonna have that as area denial for this top push either. They're trying to force the buyback on the Tinker, but they're not gonna be using. Oh, oh my no, God. they even the get sniper. the. They get the sniper with the Sandy's Eclipse, or the snipe with the Sandy's Eclipse on the Jakiro, <laughs> not the sniper. Yeah, that Sandy's Eclipse does so much damage. It was like standing at no health, and then the Beastmaster with the axes out of nowhere being able to kill him. And they're going to lose two lane of Rex here. Um, but, uh, and, but they decide to keep the Tinker buyback, which isn't what they want and of course they weren't thinking that they're going to need to buy a back tanker there but that those additional kills they caught um, being able to find the tusk and the jakiro just secure them the racks and at that point it was way too late for i master to buy back on the tinker yeah they might be like not giving the push capabilities of umd its proper credit earlier in this game they, they were they were master with the this one. Gonna be able to banish him up. Doom comes in, they're trying to give him a little bit, but they've got another roar onto the Tinker. Now TP's canceled to Jakiro and to Ku J Doom is gonna be. <laughs> yeah, Doom is going to be another target taken out, another collateral damage. They find the Tusk as well, pushing down into the mid, no problem at all. And this should be good game very shortly. Yeah, no, no buyback, buyback available on the Tinker, no buyback on the Doom. They do have one on the Tusk, but it's going to be very, very hard to defend this without. They don't have a fortification either. <laughs> they've got a little bit of time. Coming in in 10 seconds. Yep, they've got a little bit of time with the backdoor protection. They lay down the Maledict to try and get some area denial, but of course everyone is able to get around it pretty quickly. Here it goes. Yuko, he's got his last shot. They're going to be able to pop the Lincolns on him. Turn it around. L Yuko's trying to make his way out, and Fiero's just beating up the Illusion Army while the rest of his team push the racks. Remember, he doesn't need to fight here anymore. Beastmaster's going to be taking care of that, and Fiero takes quite a lot of damage. They get a Walrus Punch, but a nice place. Uh, Force Staff will be able to get him out of here. Turn it around back onto the barracks. They're going to be able to secure themselves those Mega Creeps. Yuko is deep in the fight, trying to do as much as he can. Doom jumps in and gets the Centaur Stomp. Now Yuko fighting in the slurm. Yuko's got quite an army coming up, but Sven comes around and he's clearing it out once again. Yuko's gonna be on the retreat. The rest of UMD still looks plenty healthy. They find the Doom and take him down, and now the GG gets called. Yeah, very, very well played by Maryland there. They outmaneuver Illinois um, and just was able to out-initiate. I think that really comes down to we have we did not see a single initiation from Illinois after I think 20 minute mark. After 20 minute mark, every single fight was started by Maryland. And Dota is a game that really rewards aggressiveness. It really rewards people who are the ones that are going to smoke up and go out there and find the kills. And we saw that consistently with the Blink Dagger on the Beastmaster, followed by Relocate by IO. Like we saw that exact same play like five times in the entire game and it worked. And we did not see a single effective Doom that came out of Initiation. And we even got that um, side device on that Tinker, but we didn't even see the initiation come out of that either. When you get items like that and heroes like Doom, you really got to be looking to initiate and not get initiated upon because, I mean, what does a Doom do when he gets initiated on? What does a Tinker do when he gets initiated on, right? Yeah, exactly. There are drafts, there are lineups, there are ways you can play Dota where it's really like your trap card, you know? Your expectation is they're going to try and start this fight and you have all the counterplay potential in the world. This was not that draft. No. Definitely not that draft. This is the draft. They, it, it would require for them to, as you said, want to push the pace a little bit because PL is going against that Sven. And also the fact that, you know, they have the heroes that are more, much more aggressive on the offensive than the defensive. Yeah, gave them the reason to play more aggressive there either. Like, Jakiro, again, a hero that, you know, excels and pushes, but, you know, not the very best when it comes to being a defensive support either. Yeah, and so any ch any recommendations, any changes you want to see for Illinois coming into game two that you think um, they didn't play horribly, right? They came no, out of no. Uh, they even they were kind of having a rough time in the laning phase to start, but they came out of it towards the end of the laning phase pretty even. I, I feel like. You know, I did in in the laning phase. I think they did pretty well. Like if if it wasn't even, they might have even came out slightly ahead there. 
Yeah. Um, so as far as the mid game, pushing the pace more, maybe playing as a team more, it seemed like the tinker wasn't going that well. They got the space yeah. that they needed at first, it, but... It... I mean, we see this problem, I think, a lot. It's it's where the team's play style does not match the draft they drafted for themselves. And and I think, you know, we've seen time and time again people draft push strats and farm too much, and people draft, you know, aggressive uh, defensive strats and try to play a little bit too aggressively. And I think this is, like, the classic case of that. They drafted a uh, lineup that we needed to play aggressive, but um, they just weren't ready to that. They won't be farming and stuff like that. They want to play them more of a tinker game where you want to farm slowly and things like that. But obviously, you know, they just did not have the other heroes to be able to support that kind of play style. All right, so yeah, Illinois, just uh, whatever your comfort zone is, whatever, you, whatever your on-lock draft is, um, go for that, play for that, draft for that, and uh, let's see you hit back hard in game number two. Always cash, need to keep your count. 